Let's go there. Who's Amber? We all used to think that Eric and Amber would end up together, but that didn't happen. So Amber's always such a sweetheart. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to our channel. As usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from dialogue in a real life story video. Today's real life story is about family tension between a mother and her son's wife. Before we watch the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is to crave. Next, are, to be precious, to make sense, to be selfless, and to put someone or something above. The final word is to overstep. Okay, let's watch the video. Hi, Mom. How was your flight? Where's Eric? Mom! Oh my god, I missed you so much. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. I missed you so much, Mom. Me too, sweetie. This place is a mess. Oh, really? Oh, I miss you, honey. Mom, you need to eat? No. Eric, you? No, no, no. Eric will have my special mushroom grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, no way. And I made a chicken pot pie, too. Both of my favorites, Mom. I love you so much. What kind of a mother would I be if I didn't know what my baby likes? And besides, you don't look like you're getting anything good to eat around here. You look like a twig. You know what, Mom? Maria and I are following this fantastic diet, but today will have to be a cheat day. Maria, you have to try my mom's cheese sandwich. It is amazing. There's only enough for you, Eric. Oh, ah. Uh. That's okay. Ah, uh, I'll just eat the leftovers from yesterday. The leftovers. Perfect. Mom, this sandwich is amazing. Ask Maria, I have been craving your food for so long now. And I've been wanting you to move back home for so long now, too. You could be eating my food every day. Also, guess who I ran into at church last week? I don't know. Who? Amber. Okay, Mom, let's not go there. Let's go there. Who's Amber? We all used to think that Eric and Amber would end up together, but that didn't happen. So Amber's always such a sweetheart. She's always taking care of others and being such a good Christian. It's hard to find a woman like that nowadays. Okay, Mom, that was 15 years ago. Her in-laws must be so happy to have her in the family. And she really knows how to take care of her man. Okay, well, I'm pretty full now, and it's getting late, so go to bed. Mom, I love you so much. I'm so happy that you're here. The food was amazing. Thank you so much. I love you too, my baby. How are the leftovers? They were fine. Maria, could you do me a favor, please? Could you take my mom to the mall tomorrow? Yeah, sure. She needs some new shoes, and I got my boss getting me to do a lot of work this week. Sure. What's wrong? Uh, Nothing. Did my mom say something to you? Eric, have you not seen the way that she's been treating me? What do you mean? Oh my god. Ever since we've gotten married, she's made it very, very apparent that she doesn't like me. Oh. She hates me. Literally hates me. Are you serious, Maria? This again? No, this whole thing is getting old. Oh, look, I know you love your mom. I do. A lot. Yeah. But ever since she's been here, she's either ignored me or been straight up mean. I mean, did you not see the way that she was talking about Amber? She makes it so clear that she wants you to be with her, not me. She was just saying she saw Amber at church. That's not a big deal. Oh, a big deal? What about dinner? What about... You're her precious little boy, right? She couldn't even make both of us a meal? She makes it very clear that she wants you to leave me and live with her. Okay, now you're twisting her words around. It's not making any sense. Yeah, she's asked me to live with her a few times. That makes perfect sense to me. My dad passed away. It's really hard on her, and it's hard on me. 
so I asked my mom to move in with us. You did what? Jason, you didn't even ask me? So now you have to stop hating my mom. It's time you start loving my mom the way I love her. I will always have respect for your mother. Ah, uh, but I don't know how long I can handle her treating me like this. Everything will be okay the moment you stop hating her. I'm done talking about this. Make sure you take her to the mall to get her shoes. Good night. Mommy, I don't feel good at all. I am very ill. Oh, baby, what's the matter? Oh, honey. Mommy, I don't feel good at all. Oh, you're burning up. Maria, get the thermometer now. Oh, honey. Oh, mommy's here. Maria, come on. I'll take care of you. What's going on? I know mommy's here. Maria, come on. I'll take good care of you, okay? Give it to me. 101. Oh, baby, you have a temperature. Oh, get away. You got my son sick. Mom, she didn't get me sick. Yes, she did. You should have seen the way that she was doing the dishes yesterday, and this whole house is a mess. Eric, I always kept this to myself, but she has no idea how to be a wife. I'm... You don't interrupt me when I'm talking. I never wanted you to marry my son in the first place. Ever since you entered this family, everything has been ruined. First, Eric's father passed away, and now my Eric is sick, and you don't even go to church. Our life would have been so much better if you married someone like Amber. Oh, Eric, it's time for you to leave her. Mom, stop it. Mom, Maria, I'm so sorry. Mom, you have no right to treat Maria like that. She's my best friend and the love of my life. She puts me above everything else. Mom, Maria is the most selfless and loving person I know. I know you can't see it because you still don't believe that I'm an adult. I'm not your little boy anymore. Maria is my wife. It's time to start treating her like your own. Okay, son, I see. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Look, I know we may not agree on everything. But one thing that we do agree on is that we both love Eric. You need to trust that I'm capable of taking care of him. Listen, you raised an amazing human being, one that I love with all my heart. Can you just trust me as Eric's wife? And, and maybe your daughter, too. I'm sorry, Maria. I'm really sorry. If I overstepped any boundaries when Eric got married, I should have been happy to have a beautiful daughter. Amazing one, too. Instead, I did everything to keep my baby boy. If it would be all right with you, and if you would forgive me, I would like to try again. Of course, Mom. Come on. Come on. Come back home, Mom. Ask Maria, I have been craving your food for so long now. To crave. It means to have an extremely strong desire for something. The examples, I've been craving chocolate all day. During her pregnancy, she often craved spicy foods. You're her precious little boy, right? She couldn't even make both of us a meal? To be precious, it means to be great value because of being rare, expensive, or important. The examples, clean water is a precious commodity in many parts of the world. You're so precious to me. She's asked me to live with her a few times. That makes perfect sense to me. To make sense. If something makes sense, it means you can understand it, or it seems logical to you. Or, to be clear, or to be understandable. The examples. This last paragraph doesn't make any sense. It makes sense to pay off your debts before you start trying to save money. Mom, you have no right to treat Maria like that. She's my best friend and the love of my life. She puts me above everything else. To put someone or something above. It means to give more importance or value to someone or something than someone or something else. The examples. She puts her career above her friends. I put my family above everything else. Mom, Maria is the most selfless and loving person I know. To be selfless, caring, 
more about other people's needs and interests than about your own. The examples. He dedicated his entire life to selfless service to his country. It was an entirely selfless act. I'm sorry, Maria. I'm really sorry. If I overstepped any boundaries... To overstep, it means to go beyond what is permitted or acceptable. The examples. I hope I didn't overstep your boundaries by asking about your personal life. I think you're overstepping your authority. Well, that's it. I hope you can start using these words. Make sure you subscribe to continue to improve your vocab. Thanks for watching. See you later.